What's up everyone, welcome back for another video. I'm happy to see you all here. And in today's video, I'm gonna take you to the dot cockpit. I'm gonna show you a few tips and tricks there which makes you work more efficient. And I think this video will be very valuable for you. So hang on there and I will show you. Well guys, thanks for tuning in on my channel. For those who are new, my name is Back again. I'm an MRI radiographer. And in my channel, I'm covering things from basic to advanced MRI topics, tutorials, just like this one. So if you're into this kind of content and haven't subscribed yet, considering doing so. Back to the video. So through the years, I've been working with the Siemens scanners for a long time and from the older software to the newer software. But there are one specific thing which I keep following whenever I'm doing the protocols for the for the optimizing the protocols and saving the protocols, which makes it more efficient, easy for my fellow colleagues to, you know, take the protocol and run the examinations. So in today's video, I'm going to show you a few tips and tricks. Nevertheless, even though I will be showing you on an E11 software, it doesn't matter. This will work on older one to the newest one. So without further ado, let's go to the scanner and I will show you. So currently we are at E11E software. I have a MacBook right here and I want to show you a few tips and tricks inside the dark cockpit. So what you see in front of you here is the program card. And next to the program card, you have a button right there. So let's show that one for you. There you go. And that's the dark cockpit. Inside here, there are things you can change, save the protocols and optimize the protocols for your fellow colleagues to you know, do the examination easier. So inside here, you have the user tree. You can have a lot of user tree here. You can rename your own one or you have an original from Siemens. Okay, so I put on our protocol right here, which one, one that says ankle and the other one is knee. And as you can see here, and inside the scanner currently I have the coil, uh, the ankle coil, right? So we're gonna do a foot ankle examination. So I'm just gonna put up a protocol like this for you here. And let's say you have a very good sequence from the knee and you want to use that one. So let me show you, I drag and drop. And remember this knee protocol you see in front of you here now is saved to the knee uh, coil, right? So I just close that, open that one, and then you get a message. So something is wrong here, protocols was fixed, right? The following adaptions have been carried out. So if you're new to the system, I very recommend you to read through this before you just click on the OK button because there are a few things here which is very important. One of them are the pre-scan normalized. It's going from on to off because it's just detected another coil which was saved. The knee coil was saved, but now we're using the ankle. And they detect it and it says that the pre-scan automatically turns off. And the normalize goes to on. And there's, this is scary, the coil elements. And then the coil elements, K15, that's for the knee coil. And suddenly it turns over to the body coil, the, the body coil of the, the, the scanner. If you run this protocol currently right now, you will run without the ankle elements on, foot ankle elements on, and without the pre-scan normalized, which is very important, or you will cause artifacts. So let's continue here now. Okay, let's go into the system here. And there you go. The body coil is on, just like it says. And then you have the elements of the, the foot ankle coil. You turn it on. And there's one more thing you need to watch out. So inside resolution, filter image, pre-scan normalized automatically turns off. Like I told you, it detects another coil. So it needs to be on, always on. Either you are 1.5 Tesla or 3 Tesla, it doesn't matter, it should be on. Okay. So now you can run the protocol, right? Run the sequence. Let's go in here again. Now we show you a faster technique. So I'm just going to open this one to show you that it's saved to the knee coil and there are a different position for the, from the knee right and then the orientation and all that. So what you're going to do now, since those two are sagittal, this sagittal is for the foot ankle, it's saving the foot ankle and the sagittal PD fat set down here is for the knee. So we mark these two sequences right here and then we right click and we use the create copy reference in here you have something called center of slice groups and saturation regions. You put OK on that one. And voila, 
So what you're going to do now is you can open the sequence and then you can see here it's now saved to the foot ankle coil. And you, all you got to do now is put the pre-scan normalize on and save it. Orientation, everything is now exactly the same as this sequence, which is then saved for the foot ankle. So I just save that one, and that's it. So let's try to open this sequence now. Just gonna delete that one. Let's open this one. See, foot ankle, and there's no message, error message. So now it's ready to run. And it's more easy for your fellow colleagues to, you know, take the sequence and run it without falling into pitfalls of artifacts and coil elements. Because then you need to rerun your sequence, it takes time. I'm just gonna show you one more thing. So inside here, let's say you want to do something between these two. So if you have, uh, let's say you have a shoulder right here. The one is for the right side and the other one is for the left side. And then you optimize this right one here to 1 minute 32. You're very happy with that sequence. Instead of putting a coil inside, instead of putting a test patient or a healthy volunteer, so you can save the protocol exactly. The, the position is the same every time you open the protocol, left side or right side. You can do it like this. You see here, the move, copy, move, copy. So if you hold the control button inside, then you will copy the sequence. You won't lose it, but if you are only drag and drop, then you move your sequence. So the control button with the left mouse click. Okay, so now all I gotta do is to copy these two. Create copy reference center. Then I can delete the old PD fat set, which took longer. And now I can just rename to Sinister, left. And then suddenly, voila. It's the orientation, the position to the left side now. And it's also remembering the coil elements and everything. So this can be done without having the patient inside the scanner. It's much more faster, much more efficient whenever you're doing the protocols. So that orientation is for the right side. Well, that's it, guys. Well guys, that's the end of my video. I hope you find this video valuable, informative. And if you didn't know about this technique, I hope you can follow this because I will promise you this will make you work more efficient, easier for your fellow colleagues to you know, take the protocol and run the sequences without any pitfalls of the artifacts. So before we close up on this video, I have a question for you. Do you know about this approach? If so, let me know in the comment section down below. And if you like this video, do not forget to push the like button and push the subscribe and hit on the notification bell so whenever new things for me are coming up, you will get a ding ding. So my last word for this video will be be positive, test negative. Stay safe everyone for the corona. I'll catch up with you on the next video. Peace out.